Hey, welcome to the Idea Space podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and today I have a special treat. I've created an audio training for you all about how to know your superpower. This is all about understanding your USP. That's your unique selling proposition, your value proposition, whatever you want to call it. I've got, I'm going to take you through it. Now, I gave this training to my masterminders and they loved it because they started to see a whole bunch of light bulbs go off. So I thought maybe my podcast audience could use that too. Feel free to listen to it once and then listen to it again with a piece of paper, your favorite journal, a notebook next to you so that you can think about the questions I'm asking and really let your mind wander. All month, I've really been asking you to think about what makes you different in the marketplace? What makes you special? And if you're like most people, you shrug and you don't know the answer and you're startled into silence. So let's solve that problem. Let's go. Your job as an entrepreneur is to let your audience know how you're different from everyone else in the market. You also need to let them know how you provide a gain for them or help them solve a problem. Additionally, you need to let your audience know that you deeply know what they need and what they think, that you understand the need and that you understand what they are looking for. So let's just preface this all by saying the easiest way to do this is to understand what makes you different or what's your USP. There are a few different terms for this USP term, unique selling point, unique, unique value proposition or just value proposition. And when I asked my husband the words he uses, he called it a strategic differentiator and a competitive advantage. And I want to just warn you that those are man words, right? Like those aren't words that ever resonate with me, but I wanted to offer them to you because maybe you like the word strategic differentiator. Ultimately, we're looking for what makes you different in the marketplace. What advantage do you have in the marketplace? Women entrepreneurs particularly find this hard to identify. We are taught to not make ourselves different, not show how we're better, not think that we're special. And frankly, as entrepreneurs, if we keep doing that, it really won't serve us. So a way to get into what is it that makes you different is to start thinking about what other people say about you. And so I'm gonna offer you some strategies here to help you think, what have you already heard people say about what makes you different from somebody else they may have already worked with? Something to think about is what feedback have you heard? Perhaps when you're working with somebody, you've heard uh, something specific they said. Um, be cl client befores and afters are a great place to look for times when somebody has told you, I used to do this, but now I do this, and it was because you were able to help me do X, Y, and Z. Testimonials and reviews are a wonderful way to see what makes you special. There's something specific about the way you do things. Sometimes we just overhear things that people are saying about us, about us, or it might be a second hand. Somebody told me that this was being said about me, and that is an overheard gem. And sometimes it's because of something somebody has said about us in organic media, meaning somebody has written an article about us or had us on their podcast, or earned media where we have uh, pitched and been written about in a piece of media or we've been asked to be on a television show or a radio show or another podcast. So these are all the ways that I want you to start looking for your special sauce. The next question is, what do you know about you already? When I talked to my clients and asked them, what is their superpower? They kind of already knew, but they weren't very comfortable saying it. I heard people say things like, I create safety so my clients can really open up in our sessions. They said, I help clients tell a whole story with one photo. They said, what makes me special is that my clients get unprecedented results working with me. I heard another client say, I listen powerfully and hear what's not being said. That is an amazing superpower. And somebody else said, I cut the time it takes for clients to get results by half. These are the things that I want you to start looking for in yourself. What makes you different? So I'd like you to sit with yourself and really think about what makes you special, what makes you different in the marketplace. A way to start with this is what are the skills that you have that feel like breathing? Something that for you is so easy, so pleasant, so much fun. You could do it without thinking much about it and you would probably do it for free. 
The next question is, where have you added value? What projects have you worked on? What organizations have you stepped in to help with? What have you taken over where you added value and did something that other people couldn't do? And you probably heard people say, oh my God, wow, you really were able to bring this along faster. There's some place where you've added value that you haven't quite thought about. Which credentials mean the most to you? You probably have a lot of certifications, trainings, degrees. Which one of those has added something to your life, to your regimen, to everything that you bring to your clients? Which ones mean the most to you? I hear a lot of women talking about how many things they've done, and this isn't it, and this wasn't it, and I did this training and that wasn't it either. Frankly, all of these unique and unexpected experiences that you've had along the way weave together to add something. And so what are your unique and unexpected trainings, experiences that you could put together that maybe when you look at them separately, you're like, they don't go together. But when you put them together, they're kind of like two great tastes that taste great together, like Reese's peanut butter cups, right? And then where do you have a distinctive perspective on something? Where do you maybe think about something in a different way than anybody else does, where maybe you go against the conventional wisdom of something? So sit with yourself and ask yourself these questions because I guarantee there's something that you do that feels really easy. There's a place where you've stepped in that added a whole bunch of value. Maybe it was a volunteer opportunity. Of all the trainings you've done, which ones are the most exciting to you? Which ones did you get the most out of? And how did your uniqueness show up in your real life? Your job is to weave it all together. And I have a quick story for you. I was putting this training together and my son, who's 13, sat down next to me and looked at what I was doing and asked me, what does USP stand for? And I said, it's kind of like the thing that's your special sauce. It's your superpower. It's the thing that makes you different in the marketplace from other people. Uh, it might be your voice or you know something that you have that's different. And he goes, well, do you know your superpower? You pull stuff right out of people's heads and you can teach them anything. I said, I, I know. And he said, well, you were working in a gym for so long. What a waste. And so I want to offer it here to you that whatever you have done in your life, all of the disparate things, the things that seemingly don't go together, the thing you got trained in that you thought was going to be it that wasn't it, and then you tried another thing that you thought was going to be it and it wasn't it, all of these things weave together to create the special, unique embodiment of who you are and what you offer. So please don't look at it, at it all as little teeny tiny containers along the way. Weave them all together. It's not a waste. All of your experience is what makes you unique. Now, beyond thinking about your personality as the special sauce, as a way to differentiate yourself in the marketplace, which is very important, and I don't want you to discount that, there are other ways to explore your unique selling proposition. I'm going to use coffee here because it's a really great example. Price is a great way to differentiate how you choose your coffee. For example, you can drive through McDonald's and get coffee for a dollar, or maybe you want to go into a special coffee shop and pay $4.75 for your coffee. But if you're only making your choice dependent on price, it's going to determine where you go. So price is a way that people differentiate themselves in the marketplace. Quality is another way that entrepreneurs differentiate themselves in the marketplace. Quality would be like, where are the beans from? How much time do they take roasting them? Do they hand grind them? Like all of these kinds of things come into play when somebody cares about quality. So if you are the kind of person who loves a high quality cup of coffee, my guess is you're not driving through Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's to grab your coffee in the morning. Additionally, speed of delivery is another way that people differentiate themselves in the marketplace. Speed of delivery, and Amazon's actually a good example here. Um, Amazon has kind of ruined it for all of us in that we go to Amazon, we get what we want, maybe we pay a little bit more, but we get it in two days versus going to a website that sells the same thing but doesn't get it to us for a week. We're usually going to choose speed of delivery if that's important to us. So these are all ways that entrepreneurs and companies differentiate themselves in the marketplace 
Obviously the same thing happens with coffee. You want to drive through Dunkin Donuts, you can get your coffee in like three to five minutes, right? Versus going into a specialty coffee shop and waiting online and having it handcrafted for you and it's beautiful and it's more of an experience, right? Next up is ease of use. You, your people are going to either want to choose what is easiest for them, what is cheapest for them, what is the most quality for them. This is how people make your people make decisions. So if ease of use is something that your people are interested in, how easy is it to use your services? How easy is it to get your product? Ease of use is something that is really important. So how easy is it for you to, um, for example, you know, do you have a very fancy coffee machine at home? Or do you have a Keurig where you put the thing in, you put the pot in, you put it down, and bop, 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 you got your coffee right away? Or are you more of a French press type of person, right? Do you like have the beans and you take them out and you smell them and you press it down? Ease of use is another way that people differentiate themselves in the marketplace. Brand loyalty. Now, some people just buy what a company puts out. Mac is a good example for me. Uh, as, like I'm always gonna buy an iPhone. I'm always gonna buy the next Mac computer that's offered, right? For coffee, you know, some people are coffee snobs and they say, I will only buy coffee from this local roaster who's owned by a, it's a small business owner, right? And other people are like, nope, I'm a Dunkin' girl. I drive through the Dunkin' Donuts line all the time. So these are additional ways that I want you to start thinking about what makes you different in the marketplace. Do any of these come into play for your business and what you bring to your market? So whatever it is your people need, your job is to know what it is, to know what it is so deeply, and then to meet that need and then to tell them over and over again how you do it in your particularly special way in many varied ways so that everyone knows. I want you to view this as an experiment. There is no one way to do it and there is no static way to do it. It's constantly changing because you're constantly changing and the market's constantly changing, right? So think about the first version of a cell phone that you bought and that, that had a very specific USP and the latest version of your cell phone that you bought had a whole bunch of different needs that it solved for. So. Don't be afraid to share with people what your special sauce is. Your job is to share it with them and you're gonna get bored of yourself before they are because they're gonna to have to hear it a million times before it actually sit, sinks in. So what are some action items that you can take this week to help you move forward really understanding your unique selling point? Well, the first is to request some reviews and testimonials, and I teach you exactly how to do that with a swipe file. If you go to www.jenliddy.com forward slash ask, you can download a free guide. It will take you step by step and give you exactly what to say to request reviews and testimonials from previous clients, anybody that you've worked with, and that is a really great place to start. The next thing I would do, take a look at intake forms. If you're somebody who works with clients, and you, you see what they really, and you do intake forms to see what they wanted in the beginning and you compare it to your wrap up session, you're going to see how it helps people get from where they were to where they want to go. And that's what, that's the, the special sauce that you bring gets them there, right? And then I always ask, do you have a nice notes folder? Do you have something on your email where you put nice emails, nice texts, nice messages of people who said lovely things about you? Go back and look at that because I guarantee in there are some little nuggets of wisdom from people outside of your brain who would love to tell you how great you are. Now, I know it can be frustrating to not know what differentiates you in the market, but you can... I really hope I've made the case so that you can see how important it is to do this work. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm at Jen Liddy Coach, and I would love to connect with you there. I'd also love to hear what you thought of this training and if it helped you. Please remember, this is not something that we learn overnight. And if you are looking for some help with this, go to jenliddy.com forward slash ask and download that freebie because it will really help you get some great feedback from your previous clients. I'll talk to you next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.